Okay, welcome, welcome. Getting on board with the course in Mirgis. Hello, Dora. Hello, Christiane. Hi, good to see you. <laughs> good to see you. Well, uh, in our series um, uh, for this participation in that new entrance for and to a new you, we were touching um, in several episodes the importance of the change of mind and uh, besides what we already uh, mentioned in the third episode um, that there needs to be an acceptance of the change of that mind training uh, and we are using here the form of a cause in miracles and what the cause in miracles offers uh, the reason is because there are in the human mind obstacles, impediments, uh, and they are made up in the conceptual mind by myself, by ourselves. And uh, of course, those are all expressions of the conceptual ego perspective in order to make it real. And so we looked at uh, this uh, necessity, I would say, necessity to accept uh, the mind training and accept a change of mind and uh, to align ourselves with those directives given from out of time. Um, the author of this course is Jesus Christ. And so we also looked at the introduction of the of the workbook of A Course in Miracles in order to, uh, to direct the mind, hey, there is a path given in this Course in Miracles, which... Uh, is an invitation to participate, to apply these ideas, um, not just in some occasions, but really during the entire year. And so 365 lessons are given. And from there, we actually went already directly in what is always offered behind it, the holy instant that is the most important in our coming together, in our relationships, in that um, opening of our mind and allowing to uh, direct, that we are directed to an experience of um, literally of the collapse of time, of the timelessness, and so also to have the recognition of a complete self-recognition, self-realization. And the, in the last episode, we touched on the action, how we're going to do that, literally. And it was also in context exactly how the daily lesson was given, calling upon God, our Father in heaven, our creator. And um, yeah, seeing how the little world, how the images in the world, how the little things he called it in, in the lesson become silent and um, they start to disappear. Now, for, for this uh, um, sequence, we want to look and give maybe some examples of how that really looks like in the first lessons. And we made an agreement, Dora and me, to look at, to use examples from the first 50 lessons, because those first 50 lessons are also uh, described as the core lessons where um, we could say the mind starts settling in into a new way of thinking. Okay, Dara, what do you think? Yeah, um, yeah, and, and I mean, yeah, especially the, the first 50 lessons are so important um, because he's guiding us step by step like really gentle, really um, amazing through, yeah, especially these these um, first steps are very important. Um, even if um, it's mentioned that we we even don't have to believe, but it's important to to go through, to do every lesson uh, day by day. Um yeah, and it's really it really can can shift our our mind. I mean it it, it is a mind training, so it's meant to be to, <laughs> to change or to actually to to recognize, to realize um 
what is our truth what's our true self um so and when it when it starts like the first lesson starts nothing i see in this room on the street from this window in this place means anything i mean this is something um huge if um if you if you don't um look at this before i mean it's it's it could be really confusing to the ego but sure we don't want to follow the ego we want uh, exactly the opposite so he guides us here really from the point of okay i i start questioning um first of all the the meaning i give to things and then he gently changed it. Um, so it's it's something yeah, like um how how he teaches us to to become aware to to find um yeah, to, to recognize step by step what we are. And um, yeah, and, and gives us really this guidance where we don't have to believe, we don't have to, uh, to trust completely, but doing it step by step. Um, yeah, <clears throat> thank you. And um, as you mentioned before, uh, there is one lesson at the day being prescribed. Né? I hear many times that those questions, well, I'm hearing some uh, guys who are a little bit more advanced uh, in that mind training, and they would say, well, my lesson today, for example, is 190. Né? I choose the joy of God instead of pain. Né? Now, can I also go along with that lesson? Because this is a mind training I'm supposed to start out on the 1st of uh, January or with lesson number one. And um, and I shouldn't do more than one lesson. That's also part, as, as it is said in the introduction. So we are still talking basically a little bit about the introduction, which is important for those who want to start out with those lessons. Because everybody should start out with lesson one and then two, three, four, two, 365. But it doesn't mean that we can't share a lesson where what anybody is on and listen to them or listen how they read it or how they practice it. It is just the one lesson that we are in. That's the lesson to apply and to practice. That has nothing to do really with studying the lesson. I can study any lesson and I can study any passage of the text, but in the application of the situations of daily life, so to speak, is exactly that lesson that I'm on. And if I start today, and of course, every, anybody can start any day with lesson number one, he, he gets that lesson, nothing I see means anything. And as he already made emphasis in that, Doro, uh, I mean, the, the amazing thing is that, okay, I can go along and I'm guided along uh, to look at those perceptual objects, né? the table, the computer, the lamp, the chair, and so on. And of course, if I'm honest with myself, I will immediately find out that I have given meaning to everything, you know, and I, I've given meaning to the chair to, that I can sit on and be kind of relax, uh, can relax myself. And on the table, I can put a cup and I can put my laptop and so on and so forth. Everything has been given a very specific meaning. And in some other lesson, he even explains that we do not even know what we are using those objects for. We are, we are really just assuming uh, uh, based on past reference and past meanings. And now in this first lesson, nothing I see means anything. That is the practice and literally the uh, 
dawning on the mind, oh my God, it is meaningless. He is teaching us immediately in into the meaninglessness of those thoughts and meanings we have given to everything. And uh, he uses also some uh, some expression that really caught my eye when I was in the review lessons of these first 50 lessons, where he, he expresses it as what I think I see. Yeah. So what, uh, what I would say, well, I see this table and so on is actually the result of what I think I see. And what I think I see, those are actually our thoughts. And now, uh, 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 yeah, I also got uh, once uh, kind of a download in uh, separating or uh, kind of categorizing those first 50 lessons into five categories. And, and they don't go really like, as you would say, well, the first 10 lessons and so on, but it is mostly around 10 or 7 to 10 lessons. And that first category I found in the first 10 lessons was that he's he's showing me in my mind, Jesus is showing me what my thoughts are. And then from mm -hmm. lesson 11 to lesson 16, he shows me what those lessons do, what they produce, what, um, what, what is the result of those thoughts. So the first 10 lessons, what my thoughts are, he's plainly showing me judgments, projections, uh, justification those are the words he uses also in the lessons no? mm -hmm. and and you could say uh every expression he uses of course also the word nothing i i think my thoughts are literally nothing on the human conceptual level and and so it's very valuable if i'm starting a mind training and uh, uh i might have some psychological education and have already heard okay i'm projecting i'm projecting thoughts and i'm projecting fear and so on that uh, i i be then really shown in the practice these are my thoughts that what i project mm. there's also the tendency to completely cut oneself off and immediately say well in the truth and that is the truth it has nothing to do with me but as long as I give it meaning, it has everything to do with me because yeah. it's the result and the projection of my thoughts and not of thoughts of who anybody else thought in the world. Or uh, it, it, it looks then like, well, there's some neutral or, or thoughts uh, uh, floating around in the ether or that there is uh, this ego identity or ego reality outside myself, which I'm almost like a, a victim of, you know, and then it catches up with me. And I think that is a, a real a, amazing point to discover in those first lessons. Yeah. These thoughts come from my mind and I'm responsible for them. Those are my thoughts. Yeah, yeah, and then um, as you as you mentioned, I mean, then the next step is exactly that he he doesn't leave us there, and I mean, because it it, it can uh, create a lot of fear when when I think, oh my God, this is meaningless here. This chair, mm -hmm. this table, this window, uh, everything I see is meaningless. So, what to do? <laughs> I mean, this. This can be really shocking and and really um um yeah uh, and but he doesn't leave us there so um and there's is one as you said I mean there is the, one of the uh, the turning points where then he starts um to give us the um. um yeah, other um, um, important truth of, for example, uh, lesson 14, God did not create a meaningless world. Um, and yeah, so he, he guides us then there. So, okay, so how can I like, then what is it? And, and um he gives us 
ideas, truth. Okay, <laughs> here's the here's the path. Here's the journey. Here is the truth. Yeah. But that might be um, even, even so, yeah. more shocking. No? Like, oh my god. <laughs> Okay, I do realize this is a meaningless word, and then, and then I don't even have a, a creator who did that, no? and then, then it's really like left yeah. to ourselves. No? Mm -hmm. But before we get there, maybe we just also read at least the titles of the lessons, so yeah. that the mm -hmm. ones who, who are not familiar with this course can already, with our demonstration, kind of tune in into these ideas uh we, we just mentioned the lesson one nothing i see means anything yeah you wanna uh mm -hmm. i have given so lesson two i have given everything i see in this room on the street from this window in this place all the meaning that it has for me lesson three i do not understand anything i see in this room on the street, from this window, in this place. Yeah, and feel, uh, maybe we want to say also to that uh, second lesson I've given what I see or the meaning it has for me, that's a real indication of uh, I have judged it all, no? because I, I think I, uh, I did not have given it that meaning, no? and that meaning already was in place and was given me. No? The, the amazing thing is now I have given it the meaning. I brought that meaning with me. No? It's my judgment. I placed the ban on yeah. all the things. No? Yeah, and then, I mean, we could say, no, no, I grew up like this, and my parents told me, and, you know. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this is, uh, exactly. This is, yeah. It's always blamed outside, no? Yeah. And I do not understand anything I see is also... Uh, uh, he he makes a, a point by saying what I see is the projection of my own errors. And it's a projection of my mind. And that is the reason why I do not really understand it because uh, it is not understandable. You know? mm -hmm. What comes yeah. from a meaninglessness or from a limitation of meaning uh, is not understandable. No? It's only yeah. understandable to the ego, but it's not understandable in, for for a mind that is created perfect, which still is the mind of our mind, no? the mind of the Son of God. Yeah, yeah, and 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 at this um, point here, I just want to mention because for me it was um, really an important insight to 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 see like from which perspective I read A Course in Miracles. Because actually like if I try to understand it from my ego mind, I will not understand anything. Um, so this was my um, experience. So I can really just open my mind, open my heart and really, I, I need to decide I wanna understand. And um, and then actually it's not uh, it's it it's nothing new. I mean, this is what we are. This love, this truth is what we are. So it's a recognition. Mm -hmm. But I need to open up. I I really need to yeah open my mind <laughs> to let him train my mind. Yeah. It is literally a mind training where I learn, we learn to let go, né? to let go of those old yeah. meanings. And that makes then, uh, opens up for a room né? in which a new meaning is remembered. Né? And, and he would express it then in, to make room for what can be really seen and really understood. Né? And that's already a, a directive that you mentioned to the truth of ourselves. Né? Yeah. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I continue with the third. Mm -hmm. So, lesson three I do not understand anything I see. Yeah. So, it's pointing to like, how can I understand something when I just, uh, 
I just judged it. Yeah, we were just talking about that. Né? It's not understandable. Né? It's, yeah. uh, um, it, it's just believed, you know, like we we came from the perspective, no, I understand perfectly what's going on in the world. I understand perfectly what is was the reason of anything I see of this war. I understand everything. Né? But the truth is we have to learn, no, it's not understandable. You know, we just assume to understand it. It's actually an ego directive and a concept in order to say, okay, now I can move on because I understand it. When we're looking at the point, what happens actually in our mind when we touch just or we accept that it, I do not understand what I see is that we stand still for a moment. Uh -huh. It is then okay. Then what is it, uh, or what is there to be understood? It it uh, stops the mind for an instant, uh, and that's important, of course. Yeah, and I mean it. It it it, it is actually also a relief. I feel mm -hmm. um, I don't have to analyze all the time and to, trying to understand and like like I keep myself so busy trying to understand things. Uh, I mean, like we can <laughs> busy with this uh, the whole day, the whole year, um, all our lives. Um, so it it yeah, it really felt or feels again and again uh, that it's just a a relief that I don't have to understand. So I yeah, I can stand still here in this moment and. And then I'm able to listen. What's the truth? What yeah, is it? Is. Mm -hmm. So four, these thoughts do not mean anything. Okay, and here I start really um, let go. <laughs> Yeah, and, and in, in the lesson of this lesson, fear these thoughts do not mean anything, he's um, uh, uh, bringing forth for practice good thoughts and bad thoughts. No? And and he makes he makes us aware to not differentiate. No? So, and to also to say, hey, don't be afraid of your so-called bad thoughts. They're actually the same as the good thoughts because both are meaningless. No? These thoughts do not mean anything. So we we are asked to include all type of thoughts into that practice. And that's mm -hmm. why this lesson has its value. No? It, mm -hmm. it directs the mind for the first time to, uh, as it is described, and we touch that on in the introduction, to not make any exceptions, no? to just apply it uh, yeah. as, as we ask to apply the ideas. Yeah. yeah. Right. This is very important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and five, I'm never upset for the reason I think. <laughs> so this is this is something also where it's uh it can it can change my my system and I can I can ask myself, oh why? Okay, I'm not upset for the reason I think. Okay, so what's the reason? <laughs> <laughs> Um, it is a, yeah, and, and then of course it is. It is also those lessons are completely in opposite as the as the concepts are set in the mind. No? it's like uh, I am upset for. I'm I'm justifyingly I'm justified in being upset exactly for the reason as I see it there outside myself no? so the mind now needs to learn no I'm I, I'm never upset for the reason I think there's always something else going on but also the value of that lesson lies in here is a directive given to all the humans emotions no? we are mm -hmm. asked to practice all emotions in it and he lists them no? from anger anxiety jealousy fear thoughts hatred uh, uh, depression, anything, né? anything that is possible in the human mind is here subject to uh, uh, to practice né? in in the sense of 
uh, I'm not worried about and then what is the idea I could be worried about my communication with this brother so and so for the reason I think you know, there's obviously directs us also oh, at, at, at this very early stage to look at there's something deeper and there's something to learn which is not so obvious in and comes so obvious in the mind when we are in the situation right? Yeah. So six, I'm upset because I see what is not there. <laughs> I'm just like, what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, how can this be possible? Like, I'm a smart person, so I'm a logical person. So, like, what is there? Like, why? Um. Yeah, and it, it it points out to there are just illusions in my mind. My my mind, my ego mind produces thoughts just <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> they're just there and they're they yeah, as the lessons before, um they don't have any meaning. Um so, okay, I'm upset because I believe in illusions. Wow, okay. Yeah, and it is a, a next lesson. The second lesson, he continues, we are directing to continue to work with all these emotions, né? as we just mentioned them, all forms of fear thoughts. Né? And then, uh, because... Uh, uh, um, because in the practice, and he, he actually mentions this, it in the lesson, there are no small upsets, né? because I would immediately differentiate, oh, this is just a small upset I can overlook, and the other one is a big one, and now I'm justified with the grievance. Né? And so he says there are no small upsets, or are equally disturbing to our mind, to our thinking. Né? to the peace of mind, he yeah. actually says in the, in, yeah. in the lesson. It's equally disturbing the peace in our mind. Yeah? And that's why we yeah. need to be, um, in that sense, very accurate and not make yeah. any exceptions. Yeah? Because everything is detrimental to the peace of mind. Because I see what is not there. Oh my God. And then from there comes basically the this core lesson, this yeah, central seven. idea, I see only the past. Yeah. Now you're breaking up right now. I see only the Asked. You were just breaking up uh, Dora, your internet connection. Can you say something? Okay. All right, then I will just continue with you. <laughs> Let's continue. Here we are again, Christian. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry, I wasn't you. Okay, yeah. Dora is back. Yeah. Yeah, we hear you. Okay. okay, so eight, my mind is preoccupied okay. with past thoughts. But we don't have your picture yet. Yeah, now it's coming. Okay, great. Yeah. Okay, eight, my yeah, mind we, is preoccupied. We didn't preoccupied. hear you when you said, I see only the past. You were, uh, you were cut off. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, so a, a seven, I see only the past. Yeah, so it it's it's pointing again to what we had before. Um, they are just thoughts; these are illusions. But at the same time, it has a new aspect. So okay, because I, um. I judged, I have my experiences, so I always 
um, kind of going back in my mind to old experiences um, to take them back to the to the now moment. And uh, yeah, and if I don't have this trained mind, I use them again. So I will always have the same results. Yeah, it goes so, and to it's... the meaning of the past. No? Like it's, it's uh, in that sense, unconsciously, it's always the meaning of the past uh, brought uh, and applied again instead of really inquiring into it. No? And he uses there the example of the cup. No? And he says in that context, what do you really know about that cup? in uh, uh, with your past learning uh, what you bring from the past and have learned from the past and uh, and then he makes that statement you would have no idea what this cup is except for your past learning but here's the question do you then really see it uh, because yeah. that is here's the indication again if it is just the past learning and i already know that i cannot really bring make the past real in in the present moment i also cannot see it i see again something that isn't there right? everything i see in the world all the cups <laughs> aren't really there i cannot really see them yeah Okay, lesson eight. My mind is preoccupied with past thoughts. So, and now it, he's introducing us to, I seem to be thinking about the cup, um, this prison, I don't know, whatever I, I experienced in the past. But, and then it, it's, it's, um, it gives me then this lesson, but my mind is preoccupied with past thoughts. So it's it's even like <laughs> um, taking this this belief, and it it really can kind of disappear through this uh, through this lesson when I really uh, experience this lesson. Yeah, because it it uh, it makes another directive. You know, okay, seeing the past, yeah, my uh, is actually seeing my past thoughts, and this is what I'm preoccupied all through the day. Yeah? Everything is constantly what is perceived and what the meaning of of that is supposed to have. Yeah? So uh, it it connects the mind really of that outside perceiving the world with the thoughts of the past. Yeah? It's like it, the mind needs to admit, okay, this is all what I see and perceive out there comes from my past thoughts within my own mind. And now, of course, what is offered is that uh, I, can, I can start asking how else could I think about it? What else could I see instead of that? You know, how can I give up uh, this uh, limitation of my past learning? You know, and if I give it up and I'm willing to let it go and give it up, what is it that I'm giving it up? That I'm giving up? And again, he teaches us: you're giving up nothing, no? because the past is nothing. No? So don't worry about it. No? It's actually very nice. No? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is really the, the freedom, the freedom he offers us, the peace he offers through these uh, lessons. Yeah. So lesson nine, I see nothing as it is now. So yeah, this is the that's the the point here. I see right. the past. So I don't see nothing mm -hmm. as it is now yeah i see literally nothing yeah and uh and yeah that that um if that is brought in the nowness in the present moment of course then uh, the seeing of the past uh, has no space in it anymore and the presence 
the present moment can open up and can uh, can show me um, what lies behind it or what the eyes cannot see but is is true in the mind no? and it's, it's a directive mm -hmm. also towards the creative mind no? but what yeah. uh, and 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 I see nothing is is the admission I'm willing to let go of all the meanings that I have given to anything. No? So uh, my mind is in that sense fresh and blank and that is what is in the present moment in the now. Yeah, and I mean, he even mentions here that for for an untrained mind to believe that could be difficult and it could it could um, activate some resistance here. So mm -hmm. it gives us even the this 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 part of ah okay. So if I if I realize a resistance to do this lesson, ah okay, it's okay <laughs> because it is difficult difficult for an untrained mind it could yeah. be difficult and he, he puts it very simple in in the practice you know it's like okay here you have your objective reality your table your chair your telephone your computer now let's bring it into the now né? and there's the practice né? i do not mm -hmm. see mm -hmm. this telephone as it is now i do not see uh, this body, this uh, whatever I see uh, as it is now. Mm. Okay, lesson 10. My thoughts do not mean anything. Mm -hmm. So now he guides us back to our to our thoughts. Um, and and this idea that there is no meaning and <clears throat> the last sentence in this lesson is this idea will help to release me from all that I now believe yeah so okay yeah because it is the directive first uh, it directs to all the private thoughts no? <clears throat> the private mind no? and it needs to be admitted that I do not have really private thoughts no? so I need again to look at all the thoughts and in that sense find out as I said before that my mind is blank no? that there's nothing really there no? and before that a helpful sentence he also says to recognize this is to recognize nothingness when you think you see it, and as such, it is the prerequisite, like the prerequisite, the, the pre-state for vision, eh? for a true seeing, for seeing yeah. within the light of the Holy Spirit, let's say. Mm -hmm. And also here Lesson he mentions 11, this, my me. this oh, I think, mm -hmm. I think, no? Uh, the lack of reality of what you think you think no? it's it's twice removed from reality no? okay go on and here can we come to lesson 11 here's now starting my new sequence what those thoughts now do and what they produce no? and here's the first idea given my meaningless thoughts are showing me a meaningless world I mean, oof. <laughs> um, okay, meaningless world. Okay, but it's, I mean, it's the, it's just the next step. Um, yeah, and, and he goes also into these lessons, the next, uh, say those six lessons, 11 till 16, um, he talks, he uses different verbs to it. No? He talks about re, uh, they produce, they, it, it arises in that, it reflects, it pictures, it represents, it engenders fear, no? comes then in 13. 
uh, so what it becomes no? and uh, they they show us they show us something that we are supposed to see no? and uh, what they show us those meaningless thoughts are really an insane world no? the insanity of the ego mind uh, projected outside no? and uh, so only in that awareness the mind will admit okay i do need a different way of seeing i do i am in need of an alternative mm -hmm. I yeah and i mean and i don't, and, want, uh, this I don't meaningless know this word anymore don't right? need yeah yeah but we don't we don't need to continue like lesson by lesson now huh and it's well let's do it maybe, maybe 15, need another right? <laughs> because um, uh it i think it's those first 15 lessons uh, uh, we can just go to, with to the continue. lesson 14 okay so it was we were at 11, 11 13, yeah 14, so, 15. Well, I'm upset because I see a meaningless word. So and then he continues. A meaningless word engenders fear, 13. And then what you yeah. mentioned already in the beginning, God did not create a meaningless word. And then 15 is my thoughts are images that I have made. Né? So here's again, uh, whatever I see reflects my thoughts. Yeah. So then 16, I have no neutral thoughts. Okay, this uh, kind of was the point we had, but it's like another small step and there's nothing neutral. Yeah. Yeah. But that so is still 17. part of, of 16 of what it shows me, what it produces. Ne? Because there's still the belief I could have neutral thoughts, no? Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, because then I'm not, uh, I cannot be attacked because I have neutral thoughts, no? <laughs> I cannot yeah. be attacked, no? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. But from, so, from the lesson 17, actually, I see no neutral things on, and that goes till uh, to lesson 24. And there, every lesson includes a change of mind and making a decision he talks about the decision for the change uh, to choose a new he uses or to be willing to see it differently every lesson will teach that and that is actually the a real step in our uh, transformation of the mind you know that we realize that there's a change offer and i have to make a new decision for the change to to come in place mm -hmm. so 18 i'm not alone in experience yeah, we don't need to effect. read it anymore as you said it's fine we can we can <laughs> 15 lessons 16 lessons and a good idea maybe we'll be looking uh once more about what uh, as i was saying what the content is that is offered as an action of mind, you know, like then there comes the sequence of making the decision and of the change. And then there comes the next action of mind and, uh, and that will go up to the holiness lessons, no? uh, to uh, including from mm -hmm. lesson 25 to lesson 34. And in those lessons, we, there comes this important uh, action of mind of being willing to let it go, no? the letting go action, the accepting, the undoing of the way uh, how the seeing was happening, because that needs, of course, a willingness that needs a, an agreement. I need to say, yes, I allow that, that now an, a, a, an undoing can, can take place and I'm willing to let it go.
Like this would be the lessons where the replacement is happening. Yeah. And I mean, there's this this um, lesson, like in lesson 20, there's changing again, right? I'm determined to see, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, another important step. <laughs> yeah, and, and then in that in that action of the letting go, the, what is a good example is, for example, lesson 26, my deck thoughts are attacking my invulnerability. Né? Okay, if I realize that, do I want that? No, I want to let yeah. it go. I want to let go yeah. of attack thoughts that are literally attacking my invulnerability. Mm. And then, I mean, with, with lesson, for me, it was, it's changing again with lesson uh, 29. God is in everything I see. Oh, wow. Okay. Here's the meaning. Here's the real truth. Here's the real meaning. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's not, it will not stay meaningless. I mean, sure. He will never leave us uh, in this, in this um fearful meaningless uh, world so okay and then we practice this step by step god is in yeah, everything and, and i see I god think that is, in is my mind. Uh, for, for every mind acceptable and i like that oh, okay i was waiting now okay so i'm mean, <laughs> one month i did one month's mind training finally <laughs> i'm told that god is in everything i see <laughs> and, the, and the, the reason is because he's in my mind no? <laughs> oh, lovely And uh, I mean, they're coming then uh, in in the thirties. The lessons I'm not the victim of the world I see, and then thirty two I have invented the world I see. Right? That's I'm the cause of it. It's my my making. And then there come this thirty three, thirty four. Right? Now there is yeah. another way of looking at this world, and I could see yeah. peace instead of this. And they sum it very nicely up how those actions need a uh, 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 happening. Né? If there's another way of looking at the world, then okay, uh, why, am, why am I not choosing to see peace instead of war or instead of separation, instead of a fight, in, instead of the need to be right and so on and so forth. Né? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then it's really pointing to my holiness. The next lessons, like yeah. especially 36, 37, my holiness envelops everything I see. And I mean, this is what we had last last week in whenever I see a conflict, a problem to bless everyone. Oh, yes, 37, my holiness blesses the world. And 38, there is nothing my holiness cannot do. Yeah, they're and going then, up then to lesson 40, and then comes the God is what God is. Ne? But all this, including the holiness lesson starting with 35 and up to 50, to lesson 50, is, is this final action in the transformation of the mind which restores communication né? like yeah. here the new vision the the vision of christ the new seeing is uh, is offered and is practiced and is applied and of course that uh, has in its basis in the mind to accept the truth the one truth what is true in every mind and uh, and so uh, that restoration of our mind to the to its nature to the holiness is how we remember who we are no? and so mm -hmm. uh, that's of course an uh, amazing when we can say okay um and uh, everything surrounds everything envelops me and what truly envelops me is my holiness no? is the light 
is the mm. light of creation. That is what really envelops me. And I thought I'm enveloped yeah. by, by the ego mind and by the ego's expression and everything presses on me. And here I'm directed to know I'm actually enveloped by the light of God. Yeah, 41, God goes with me wherever I go. I mean, it's one of my favorite. Um, oh, yeah? yeah it's, it's really the, yeah. So, okay, yeah, okay. I'm, I'm surrounded. I'm, I'm, I'm guided. Every, like, I have everything. So, like, I, I get the idea here. I have everything I need. Um, everything is already perfect. I'm already perfect. So he gives us the idea here about our our holiness. Yeah, exactly. And we were touching that already in our second episode, and there we called it the teacher. No? Like here he says, God goes with me wherever I go. But that is the inner teacher. No? That Christ consciousness is always <laughs> there. No? And yeah. of course, that relationship or restoration of that relationship is a restoration in, in true communication. Right? And uh, and then, of course, we can say, yes, I can listen to this voice. Yes, I'm guided all through the day. Yes, I, I can see through the, the ego's mind and, and can actually see what is truly going on. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, it is a kind. It is a it is a tough saying, you know. It's uh, yeah. Even us now doing or repeating those uh, in a quick mode, those first fifty lessons, lessons. But it is it is a conversion in our mind, yeah? because it's a complete turnaround, yeah. moment yeah. by moment. Mm -hmm. And it's it's. I mean, it's something uh, you will not. You, <laughs> I mean, like I don't know how many years now I I do this uh, do do this lessons. I don't know ten times for sure. I guess, um, so ten years, and it's still. I mean, I feel I I dive deeper into it more and more. So he really guides me even through every lesson. Um, always in in that way how i'm 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 ready to understand it in a deeper way so it's just <laughs> it's just so loving it's um yeah and it goes on and i mean um as long as we're here and we decide we want to learn this we will learn it yeah very nice we'll continue <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> yeah and, and i also like the expression mm -hmm. then uh you know i mean of course we sharing here things and we hear brothers share their recognitions and yet the greatest recognitions come from oneself you know like the ones who are willing to listen to that or to start with that mind training uh in that sense uh, speaking to myself you will be the greater version of myself. No? It, 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 it will always open up in a, into a brighter light, we could say. No? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and I guess I think this is the the most one. Yeah, one of the most important things in the Course of Miracles that he guides us exactly like um, that we can experience that we understand the ego system, the ego mind, um, and give us the tools to step out of it again and again and again. Because we are just here to learn, um, to, to recognize, yes, to learn, to let go of this of this ego mind. Um, yeah, 
to go back to to God, to to the love, the joy, the peace, everything what we are. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's what it is about. Huh? Yeah. So he gives us the tools, yeah. Yeah, I'm so, so can... grateful for this mind training too, because I, I can give testimony that um, I did have a revelatory experience before I even came to the course in Mills. For me, it was the course then really given in order to know myself and what the nature of the mind is. And then, okay, and now this this was from the very beginning very reasonable to me and I was yes that's mm -hmm. exactly how it's supposed mm -hmm. to be described and offered and practiced ne? and that's also I would say the treasure of these lessons <clears throat> that they do use the Christian verbiage ne? how it is thought in a Christian mind and yet it is completely for the universal mind for every mind no matter it has in that sense nothing to do with christianity no? it really mm -hmm. uh, shows how uh, the psychology of the human mind is set and has deluded and deceived itself and made ego thoughts real and here's an answer given hey we can reverse that like this we can uh, restore a true thinking and a true seeing without any, um, without any, we don't need much time for it. You know, it, it will, it's just, hey, let's dedicate ourselves to these lessons for a moment. And, and then there comes a momentum, a power that works by itself, you know, and it is really then just in our mind, yes, 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 you know. Uh, it, it's a recognition. Eh? It's a, a recognition. I, I knew that. I knew that. I just couldn't find it and it was still in the old thinking or uh, the world was still uh, separating a good world and the spiritual world from from the bad one and the devil's work. And, and so and there must be something that is underlying it, that is commune. And if I work with that part, it changes everything in any perspective. Yeah. Yeah, so the, the, the first 50 lessons give us kind of the, the basis um, uh, to understand our, our mind and how it works. And okay, I can, I can already use it so yeah and we want to offer it to everyone listening to that if you have any questions or need some help contact us ne? on the websites you have the possibility to contact us personally because especially the mind training it needs for everyone i needed at the beginning also help by teachers who were doing that already and practicing <laughs> it for longer and could in that sense guide me and the line or explain what it means or how to apply it and practice it. Ne? So uh, that help is is now really given and is available. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so you're very, very welcome to contact us whenever you yeah. have. <laughs> Well, let's leave it then for today like this. Ne? Mm -hmm. It was uh, a really good uh, outlook how to do that, to getting on board with the course in Mavis. It is actually getting on board with the lessons. Ne? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is also how I started. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> let's join with some last song here it's no secret mm -hmm.